Biodiversity is a variety of life. It can be studied on many levels from looking at all of the 8.7 million species on our planet to a specific ecosystem like a patch of woodland. We looked at biodiversity in this video and the human impacts of biodiversity in this video. In this video we're going to look at the importance of biodiversity to humans. A great biodiversity ensures the stability of ecosystems by reducing the dependence of one species on another for food, shelter and even the maintenance of the physical environment. Wolves were reintroduced to America's Yellowstone National Park in 1995 to control the growing elk population which had been overgrazing much of the park. It was phenomenally successful. The introduction of wolves changed the course of the rivers. Tree seedlings had a chance to grow along the riverbanks, stabilizing the banks and helping to clean the water. The rivers started meandering more and so beavers returned, as did birds to the new trees. One species can make a huge difference to a whole ecosystem. We would all prefer a lush green planet with lots of birds, animals, insects and flowers, rather than a barren planet. But to really convince people that biodiversity matters, we need to look at the economic value of it. The World Conservation Union estimates that goods and services provided by ecosystems is about $33 trillion per year. Reduced biodiversity means millions, even billions of people face a future where food supplies are more vulnerable to pests and disease. Fresh water is in short supply and we have no medicines to cure potentially deadly illnesses. Biodiversity protects water resources. It cleans it, controls the route it takes and stabilizes banks thus reducing flood risks. Biodiversity also strengthens soil quality, again reducing flood risk and also increasing fertility, thus potential crop yields. We currently take 100 billion kilograms of food from the oceans. If we do not conserve those supplies, how will we replace the food sources in future? And what about medicine? Both traditional and modern medicine require biodiversity. Did you know that studying bears offers us great insight into cardiovascular diseases and diabetes? So many modern drugs are derived from wild species, such as some painkillers, cardiac drugs, anti-cancer drugs and diabetes treatments. These are the ones we have developed so far, but there are no doubt so many other potentially important species that are yet to be investigated or discovered that could provide us with hugely important cure or treatment. If we don't stop preventing the loss of biodiversity, we may never have a chance to make that discovery and develop that drug which could save many lives. Maybe even scarier is that biodiversity loss increases the spread of infectious diseases. In recent years, outbreaks of SARS, Ebola, avian flu and malaria have all been attributed to human impacts on biodiversity. Deforestation reduces mosquito diversity and for some unknown reason the surviving species are the ones that transmit malaria. This also happens with snails that acted as vectors for human diseases and fruit bats in Malaysia. Deforestation also pushes disease carrying organisms into more regular contact with humans, including bushmeat, which introduced HIV AIDS and more recently Ebola into humans. Maybe you live in a place that is home to charismatic animal species. Do you know that nature-based tourism in Africa generates the same amount of revenue as farming, forestry and fishing combined? But even England with less impressive animal species and less extreme landscapes than other countries the value of forest there are even valued at around 1 billion pounds. So there you have a few economic reasons for why biodiversity matters. There are of course many, many more reasons, so start searching biodiversity on the internet and see what comes up.